Hi, welcome to this channel. In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at how to conduct a uh, causality test. But first of all, why do we need to conduct a causality test? A causality test is conducted to find out how relevant a variable is in predicting changes in the other variable. Okay, like uh, for example, we have how relevant is GFD high for in uh, direct investment? How relevant is it in predicting growth in uh, gross domestic product? Okay. It's it's, it's, it's a kind of pre-estimation test, a test you conduct before you estimate the model proper. Okay, that is a causality test. And then, uh, so it's a form of a, a pre-estimation test. Okay, it helps you to know how important or relevant a variable is in predicting changes in the other. So, yeah, in, in the causality test, there are three likely outcomes. You see that we have bi-directional causality, that means uh, GDP is important in predicting changes in FDI, and then FDI is also important in predicting changes in GDP. That is bi directional. Okay. Unidirectional is a one way thing. Maybe FDI is only important in predicting changes in GDP growth, but GDP growth is not important in predicting changes in FDI. Okay. Or we have no causality at all. It means uh, the two are not important in predicting changes in each other. So these are the three scenarios we could have of we could have of a causality test. Now let's go to estimate it. estimate the test proper. Uh, click on GDP growth, FDI, uh, crude oil price. Uh, what I did was to hold the control button and click on each of the variable, and then we open as group. Open as group. Yeah. Open as group, and then let's come to view. Yeah. You see, we have Granger Consulting. We click on it. Lack to include two for degree of freedom. Okay, then we have our test. It's a PY Granger Consulting test. The null hypothesis is that FDI does not Granger cause GDP growth. It means FDI is not good at predicting changes in the, It's not important in predicting changes in GDP growth. So, what do we do? What's our decision criteria? The null hypothesis is that there is no causality between the variable. Okay, and we can only reject null hypothesis when our probability value is less than or equal to 0 0.05. But in this case, we have to accept the null hypothesis of no causality model. It means uh, in this case, FDI, it's not an important element in predicting growth in GDP, and GDP is not an Important element in pre predicting growth in uh, FDI. Okay, so it means here there is no causality, no causality between FDI and GDP. The same can be said between crude oil price and GDP growth, and then the same can be said between crude oil price and uh, FDI. Okay, now that is a causality test. Okay, uh, air posts now are important, so sometimes you could guide to. Of determine which variables are appropriate for a model like variables that we can really rely upon to tell us uh to predict changes in in the other variable thank you this grand consult test if you're watching this channel for the visiting this channel for the first time please help subscribe and like share comment thank you